What's going on, everybody? This is your boy, Rich Boy Wayne, aka the Specialist of Opportunity. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at a interview that uh, interview that I actually did uh, this week. This is my first ever interview that I've done. Your boy's moving. You're moving. We, hey, we moving up in the world, okay? We moving up in the world. So, I'm take my glasses off. I'm getting kind of a glare going on. Okay, so. As you can see here, we moving up in the world, okay? So let's let's take a dive, let's take a look at it. Contrary to popular belief, real estate investing is busy during this pandemic. Yes, it is. Days on market are in the single digits here in Nashville. The real estate is just flying off the off the off the racks, you know. I mean, you go on the MLS, you may not even be able to find nothing um, like the next day. Like you put in an offer one day for a property and it's sold the next like that. So you got to move fast because, I mean, sh they're flying here. It's a hot market. The pandemic didn't really slow anything down because it's still, it's still going. It's still going. And people think that uh, this wave of foreclosures that's coming is going to do anything. I'm going to be honest with you. I wouldn't wait for that. If it, if it was me, I'd dive in right now because... I'm telling you, all these investors are going to swoop in and they're just going to buy everything up. They've been waiting for this to happen. Uh, they, they've been sitting on the sidelines, people like myself and other people. And they're going to use this opp opportunity to go in and get properties at a low price. So, with that being said, let's see how I did on his YouTube channel. They got my YouTube channel, right? Let's see if this is really my YouTube. Oh, make sure they got the right one. They got me good. I about to say, <laughs> what the heck is going on? They got my long channel and they got my channel. Okay. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, now would be a great time to do so because wait, we're, we're moving up. We're booming now. Like I, like I think I've gotten like ten subs in the last week or so. I haven't even put up a video yet, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna make another video soon. Uh, the next video I'm probably gonna make is one about doing like an M1 tutorial type of video. Where I show people how to set up M1, and then I'm gonna do another video um, looking at dividends. So, like for example, I'm investing in a company. Um, wait a minute, let me, let me rewind. I don't want to give out false information. Hold on a second here. I'm not gonna. Never mind. I'm not even gonna talk about that right now. Okay, that's something down the road that we're gonna do, and I'm not even gonna discuss that right now because I'll get in trouble probably. But I'm doing big things. Okay, I'm doing big things, and if you want to be a part of it. Go ahead and subscribe, and be a, be a, be a part of the movement, and follow me. And you know, let's get this money, man. Hey, look, I understand there's a pandemic. I get that, but there's opportunities. There's opportunities here, and you can either take advantage of them, or you can sit there and pout, talking about some. I need I need a stimulus package that may or may not ever come. You know, I wouldn't hold my breath on that one. But hey, you know, there's opportunities out here. And you can either take advantage of them, or you can sit back and pout. You can do either one. So, with that being said, let's take a look at this video. So, here's the video. As you can see, my room is junky as ever. That's why I don't really show my, my bedroom. Because <laughs> I don't clean it. I don't have time. I really don't have time. I know it's a lame excuse, but I just don't. Yeah, I wish I, I, wish I did. Uh, I could have at least straightened the sheets up, but I'm kind of... Disorganized, messy guy. You need to work on that. Uh, here we go. Let's let's look at this on YouTube actually, because I don't want to play. I hate playing videos like that on other people's thing. This is unlisted too. But I didn't realize that I wasn't looking at the camera. Okay, so like when you're doing these, you gotta look at the the camera. Like I'm looking right now. So I didn't realize that I thought the camera was down here and it was up here on my monitor. So the whole time I'm looking down like this, you know, or I'm trying to focus on the monitor. It's weird how I have my, how I have my stuff set up, but let's play the video. By the way, I hate it when people say my name, like, I hate when people say Dwayne. Oh my goodness. Okay, my name is Dwayne. It's not D-Wayne. It's not Duwayne. It's not uh, Dawayne. It's Dwayne. It's one, it's one syllable. 
some something like that that irritates me. That's why I go by Wayne because people don't people don't know how to say my name and they mess it up. So I go by Wayne, and everybody calls me Wayne. Do not ever do not ever call me Dwayne ever. He actually did it right. Other people say my name wrong and it just irritates me. So I just want to throw it out throw it out there. Moving on. He didn't say my my YouTube channel, man. Richboywayne.com is still under construction. I haven't really figured out what I want to do with my website. If I want to do merch or just have videos up there or do a combination of videos and merch or just do product reviews. I don't really know what I want to do with that site yet. So it's, it's kind of weird looking right now. If you go there. Um, can I chat on this thing? Uh, no, I can't. Damn it. I don't have the chat open, so I can't chat. I want to put up my, my website. Well, I'll leave it in, in the description of this video because I'm putting this on YouTube too. So I'll put it in the, in the description of this video so you can go check it out. But there's not really much up there, okay? Um, there's not really any products or anything. I'm doing like, uh, I have some t-shirts that I want to put up there and some coffee mugs and things of that nature. You know, just little stuff like that with my logo on it. But I don't really have much up there. So I, I really want people to check out my YouTube channel. That's where most of my focus is right now building that up first and then you know we're going to build the website later on but if you want to check out the website it's richboywayne.com that's richboywayne.com and you can go there and you can criticize it all you want you know but like i said it's not finished so and there's not really much up there anyway so with that being said let's move on to the video <laughs> So, for those that don't know, most of my experience is in wholesaling. I've been wholesaling here in Nashville for about 10 years now. Um, I've done a couple, a couple of deals. Uh, I got my real estate license about mm, four years ago. And um, I'm looking to really transition into real estate full-time. I do not do real estate full-time right now. I do have a job. I'm a systems analyst for a large hospital here. I'm not going to say the name of it. But if you Google it, you can probably find it on YouTube. Uh, I mean, not YouTube, but uh, Google or whatever. Because it's one of the largest hospitals in Nashville, okay? So that's where I currently work right now. And throughout this pandemic, uh, I haven't been getting a uh, bonus. So I'm not hurting for money. You know what I'm saying? Like, people think that I'm hurting. I'm not hurting for money at all. I've got plenty of money right now. But, you know, it's, it's a job. i got to wake up every morning and do it. And I'd much rather be doing real estate. Or trading stocks or both because I am an investor I'm not a real estate investor I'm not a stock investor I'm an investor okay I invest in businesses stocks real estate anything I invest in people I invest in myself I think that's the best investment of all is investing in yourself because you can control the outcome and you know there's not too many investments I can think of where you can do that I'm going off on tangents today, but I don't even care. I don't even care. I'm just going off. I'm flying off the handle today. It is. It is. Our market is incredible. <laughs> I meet people on the street every other day who tell me, oh, man, you're, you're a natural, man. Oh, man, how can I get into the real estate market there? Bruh, I'm going to be honest with you. You can't. The prices are over. Everything's overvalued right now. Um, you got all these big name companies that I'm not going to name. You know, a certain black rock, you know, that uh, is here. You can probably Google that. It's, but, you know, I ain't going to drop no names on here. I don't be snitching on my channel. But you, you know who it is. You know who it is. You can, look, you can Google it and find out. But you got all these big name firms in Nashville right now buying up everything. And then, you know, property values have skyrocketed. So it's hard to find flips. It's hard. I've been looking. I've been looking. Cause I want to do some flips, at least one. I just want to. I just want to do one under my belt. Just have. Just do a flip. Can't even do one. Can't find nothing that that makes any sense. The name of the game here. Excuse. Me, the name of the game here is to buy a lot, and build um, tall and skinnies. Uh, it's called a horizontal property regime, where you build two properties on one lot. That's the game here. Okay. Flipping properties, doing single family stuff, eh, you can kind of make money with that, but that's not the lick. The lick here in Nashville is doing what I just said, which is buying a lot 
and building two properties on it. That's the lick right there. If you can find one, and preferably in Davidson County, because all these other counties don't, you know, I don't really, people, I guess people live there, but I don't really, I wouldn't really uh, build anything out there. Those are actually good rental markets, some of these surrounding counties. People sleep on that stuff, but sometimes the surrounding counties are some good, there's some good rental, good rental markets there, you know. So don't, don't be sleeping on the surrounding stuff now. Moving on. Hold on, let me get it. All right, let me continue with my rant. I'm ranting today. Today is the day. <laughs> That's so true, though. You would think that, it, that there never was a pandemic the way the market is now. Because this, it was hot before, and it's on fire now. And I think it's just going to keep going. There's too much pent-up demand. You have all these big companies that are moving here. So, you know, values are just going to go up. And I know people are sitting on the sidelines waiting for, oh, uh, we're waiting for the crash, man, so we can get in on these properties. Man, you're going to be waiting for a while, bro. You're going to be waiting for a while uh, because I don't think it's going to happen. I think it's going to dip a little bit, but it's just going to keep on going. And that sucks because I really want to buy a house because of that. And I'm, now I'm sad now. <laughs> and I want to buy some investment properties, but I can't because nothing makes sense. <laughs> Because it doesn't, it doesn't, they don't make sense. The numbers don't make sense. You can't buy nothing that where the numbers make sense. So I got to wonder, how are these people flipping this stuff? I got to wonder. I think what they're doing is people are just buying properties here. And they're just putting paint and carpet in it. And they're selling it for 10000 more than what they paid for. I think that's what they're doing. And people started doing that crap back in 2015 and 2016. And they're still doing it, and I don't understand that. I don't get. I don't do that. I, I just to me that's not investing. Okay, that's more of speculative foolishness. That I, I I would I would never do that. None of my colleagues would ever do that. And I think that's that strategy is stupid. And anybody that teaches you that crap, you should immediately ask for your money back on whatever course or whatever, uh, what, yeah, whatever guru course or whatever whoever's teaching that. Because that's that's not investing. That's not investing. And we were always taught never to do that. Ever. Ever. Anyway, in rant. Let's continue. Everything's on fire right now. Like my accent. Like my accent. We don't say fire here in Nashville. We say fire. Everything's on fire here right now. You know what I'm saying? That's how we talk. That southern slang that I got. I would say the majority of the people that move here are from California. They're not from Illinois. But... You know, I get what he's saying, and he's right. You know, people are moving from these other states to our state, you know, to our city. And it's just, it's incredible. Because it used to be, you got made fun of if you, if you were from Nashville. Um, if you were from here, you got made fun of. Like, people made fun of your accent. People called you backwoods. You're uneducated. You know, all this other crap. That It's just stupid. You know, Nashville, the flyover state. You gotta hear that nonsense flyover state you know what i said i think is a flyover state uh, if you really want to know what i think is a flyover state yeah I, I, i'll name a couple of them that i would never set foot in i'll name a couple of states i would never set foot in and it ain't the ones you think it ain't states it ain't states that you would think Cause there's a couple of them i would not never want to go to based on the things that i've heard i'm just saying i done been all over the south i've been to tennessee Alabama, Kentucky, Mississippi. I've been to um, Florida a few times, actually. Been to Texas a few times. Driven through Arkansas a few times. Kansas. They were all great. I have no complaints about any of them. Some of the best places I've ever eaten at are in those states. So for somebody to call that a flyover state, it really just ticks me off when people say stuff like that. And it shows how, how uneducated they are. Not how I am, how I am, how they are. It exposes their ed on education. And for the record, in case you didn't know, we have a lot of colleges here. Nashville is pretty much a college town, so we're not uneducated. So anyway, I'm going off on tangents today. I'm snapping on this channel. I don't even care. 
And how what how, what time is it? It's nine. It's nine o'clock. Man, it's nine o'clock at night, and I'm still snapping. Yeah, it's a combination of things, really. It's the taxes. Um, taxes are real favorable to businesses here. Um, the it has the it vibe, I guess. Whatever that is, I have no idea. I mean, I guess the property values are low. Housing is affordable to some degree. I guess if you're from Illinois, if you're from here, it isn't. You know, I remember I used to buy properties here um, for like um, ten thousand dollars. Like I, got, I was finding deals here in Nashville for like ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen thousand dollars houses. I'm not talking about fifteen thousand a month or fifteen thousand down with some weird sandwich lease thing. No, I'm talking about fifteen thousand for the lot, the house, everything. Fifteen thousand, you own it. The very first deal I ever did, I had it on. I had a deal on a contract. It was a Two bedroom, one bathroom house in Madison for ten thousand dollars. That was it. Nobody would touch it. Not one person. It had a hole in the side of it, and people were like, "This is rough neighborhood." I don't want to live there. Now you can't even find nothing like that anymore. Them days are over with. I wish I could find a property right now for ten thousand dollars. You can find lots maybe for that price, but you ain't gonna find no houses. Um, maybe it's mobile, mobile homes, if you want to deal with that, you know, it's not really my thing, so I don't, I don't get involved with that, but as far as houses are concerned, yeah, you're not going to find that here, not going to find it, not even in Memphis now, Memphis is on fire too, but their market has been undervalued, I think, for a while now, so that, that doesn't really surprise me, it doesn't really surprise me, but our market though, our market has been undervalued. It's been undervalued. And unfortunately, you know, property values have went up, but wages haven't. So it's this weird correlation between the two. What am I saying? Let me get back into the video. Jobs are a big one. Save your money. Save your money. And don't go out and buy some stupid condo downtown. Buy a house. That's my advice. Seriously, buy a house. Don't buy these stupid condos downtown. This is 15000 a month luxury condo overlooking the gulch. Yeah, you're going to be paying for nothing. You're paying for nothing. Because that view that you're paying for, that view may not even be there. Like, I feel bad for the people who bought these condos downtown and paid almost $2,000 a month for a view, quote unquote, that they can't even look at anymore because they built another building beside it. So that view that you used to have, you don't even have that anymore because you're staring at another, you're staring at some office building now. So my advice to anybody that moves here is to go buy a house where you're going to be working at. If you live, if you're going to be working on the east side of town, buy a house on the east side. If you're going to be working on the west side, buy a house on the west side. If you're going to be working on the north, buy, you know, buy houses close to where you're going to be working, and don't buy them an hour away in some stupid small town here and I, I can name a couple of them that i ain't gonna name okay like murfreesboro for example but, you know people want to move there but understand that if you move to those small towns that are like 45 minutes away you're gonna be sitting in traffic for an hour so it's really gonna take you like two hours to get home every single day now if you want to sit in traffic for two hours you know sit in traffic for an hour, and then drive an hour to get to your house, then that's on you. Me, personally, I don't have the I don't have the patience for that. I live 30 minutes outside of the city, on the south side. I love it. It's beautiful out here, and I'm happy. I'm happy. Everything that I could ever want, as far as restaurants and, and uh, places to shop, is right here. So I don't have any complaints or anything. And also, my neighbors are somewhat decent. And it's quiet here. As you can probably hear. See, look, look at this. You hear that? That's what I'm talking about. Continue. Yeah, look at the school systems too, by the way. Like, a lot of people complain about the school systems being poor in certain parts of, town, of, of Nashville. But you gotta look into that. Like, uh, I, can I can say that some of the Davidson County schools are kind of good. Or good. Some of them are okay. But some of them are horrible. Okay, so you really gotta look into that and see what's what. Uh, I, I really don't know much about those schools, though, because I didn't go to school in Davidson County. I went to school in Williamson County, so 
but uh, you know I, I understand that some people have small children and uh, they can't private school or homeschool so you know you really gotta look into that stuff when you move to a neighborhood and take that in, take that into, into consideration if it was me personally I'd probably homeschool but because I don't like what they're teaching in schools now. And I'm not even going to get into the political stuff. I'm just saying, like, I don't like what they teach. Moving on. Yeah, the, our transportation system here is pretty much non-existent. Like, people come here from, like, New York and L.A. And they think that we have trains here or subways. Nope. We're not going to find those here. Buses. Buses don't always go to certain parts of town. It's actually pretty limited to downtown. So if you want to go take a bus, let's say, for example, from the north side of town to the south side, it's probably not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's not realistic. Nashville is one of those cities where you got to have a car. And if you don't have one, then you're screwed. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. Um, hold on a second. Let me get some water. I'll be back. Oh, man. Okay, there we go. All right, I had to go. And uh, I get some water real quick. Voice was cracking. Yeah, we're a big healthcare city, so there's a lot of healthcare jobs, and um, IT. Two of the main things in, in Nashville is IT, administrative jobs, uh, local government, like uh, state local state jobs, working for the state of Tennessee, and then uh, healthcare. The three top um, fields in Nashville. Mostly healthcare, though. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. That's what inspired me. Seriously. That book is, was incredible. And that book really helped me. Um, another thing that inspired me was, I guess, growing up where I grew up at. There's a lot of houses there. I was always fascinated with houses. Um, you know, I actually was an architect. I was a residential architect. Because I love houses. And so real estate was just like a natural thing that I wanted to get into. I've always wanted to do it. And I, I just went and did it. You know. Studied. Um, read all kinds of books on it. Took the test. Got my license. You know. And um, just started doing it. Just went out there and did it one day. I just said, you know what? Screw the consequences. Because I'm sick and tired of working at this factory. That I was working at at the time. It was horrible. The conditions were horrible. And I was just looking for a way out. And real estate gave me that, gave me hope. And I think eventually I'm going to retire from IT and I'm going to go back into real estate and just do real estate full time. That's my goal. And of course, buy rental properties. That's the end game. Mm -hmm. Wholesaling is great. I was doing wholesaling before most of these gurus were. Like you go on YouTube right now, like a, there's like a million gurus out there. Talking about how you can make money and how you can make ten thousand dollar and twenty thousand dollar checks. Yeah, that's not you know that's not every check though. Like every now and again you'll get one of those, but the majority of them are going to be like two and three thousand, four thousand, five thousand, you know, stuff like that. And it's not even every single month. It may be this month you'll get it, next month you may not get one. Two months later you may not get one. A month after that you may get one. That's how, that's how it is. So if you're used to getting a consistent check from your job every week or every two weeks, and you go from that to something like wholesaling full-time, where you may not even get a check for a couple of weeks or a month, dude, it's hard. you got to manage your, your finances. You can't be spending money, at, you know, buying Ferraris and stuff. Like, you really got to be on top of your finances, and you got to hustle. You gotta have a hustle. My heart goes out to those people who work full time. I don't know if I got it in me. I'm too old. I'm too old, man. Getting up in them years, I ain't got the hustle that I used to have. I'll be honest with you. I don't. You know, the young boys out here, they, they got the hustle. They got the hustle. You know, I don't know if I got it anymore. Cause I'm too old for that. I mean, the whole time you you get you have a con property under contract, you're on the edge of your seat like this, hoping that the property closes, because like if it doesn't, you ain't gonna be eating for like the next month on some real stuff so you're on the edge of your seat like this come on come on, and I think that the sellers can sense desperation, people can sense desperation 
You know how some animals can sense fear? I think people are the same way. People can sense desperation. So if you come across as being desperate, people are going to know that. And they're going to look at you like you're crazy. And they're, they're going to be like, you know what? I'm not going to deal with this guy. He's too he's too thirsty. Yeah, that's a good word. Thirsty. He's too, he's too, he's too thirsty. We don't want to deal with that guy. We want to deal with the guy that's going to treat us like crap. Who doesn't need us because, you know, he has 20 or 30 other properties to look at. I know that sounds weird, but that's true. People deal with people who don't really need them because they don't, they're not thirsty. They don't come across as desperate. People don't like desperation. They don't. They can smell it. So I think that having the job and not being that person is a huge leg up for me because I can just walk into a place and they're like, I don't need this. You know, I'm getting my check next week. I get paid every two weeks. I don't care if you want to sell me your house or not. Doesn't make me any difference. I'm going to eat regardless. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just saying like that's, that's how it is. That's how it is, man. I need private money. I need private money. If you got a 401k, IRA, HSA, come holler at your boy. Come holler at me. I, invest with me. Invest with me. And then, you know, I'll give you a good return on your money. Like uh, in the stock market right now, you're getting like maybe that 1%, 2% return. I can give you more than that. And it's backed by real estate. It's going to be backed by real estate. That's what I'm looking for right now. Either that or deals. You know, if you have any, any properties that you want to send me, send it to my uh, email in the link below. Description below, excuse me. Sorry about that. Got indigest indigestion. Okay, let's continue. We could do all kinds of stuff, you know. We could do long mods. We could do um, wholesaling, transactional funding, um, flips, obviously. Um, do some kind of like turnkey rental type thing where I could be the property manager and manage the property for you and, you know, that sort of thing. Um, that's a lot, you know. But I really just want to do flips because that's, that's where my focus is right now. Doing flips and getting into rental properties. Those, those are the two things I'm focusing on at the moment, you know. But, you know, hey, opportunities. Well, my, oh my city, I'm the realest one that's repping. Oh, my God, oh, my God, if I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, I know I was always repping. Oh, my God, my whole life. My words been my greatest weapon. I know I, I know I've been the coast's greatest blessing. Oh my God, oh my God, if I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, I know I was always repping. Oh my God, oh my God, if I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, I know I was always repping.